What's up, guys? Shout out to Boxing Extra. A uh, very good channel here on YouTube. They put together uh, fight highlights and uh, recap fighters' careers, things like that. Last night, as I was going through my feed, they have um, released a video called Julio Cesar Chavez, All Title Fights. I will put the link to that in the comment section. And I will also put the link to the uh, legendary tale uh, done by HBO of the fight that I'm about to talk about. Okay. When I watched that that Julio Cesar Chavez highlight <clears throat> from Boxing Extra, the video they did, uh, <clears throat> it made me think of the Chavez-Taylor fight, the first one from 1990, okay? Um, I was not watching Boxing Following Boxing Hardcore in 1990. I was, I, I would have been eight years old a few months after that fight, okay? Um, yeah, I was not hardcore into boxing at that time. I remember right shortly before that fight, the pandemonium of people around me about Mike Tyson losing to Buster Douglas, okay? And of course, I saw that uh, as a kid. I, I, I saw that fight, okay? It was that big of a deal. I saw it on delay, maybe like a week or so after, I don't know. But I remember being at my grandma's house, seeing that fight. Okay, because uh, it was it was a big deal. Okay, um, so I I was not following boxing. I was not into boxing at the time of the Chavez Taylor fight. Okay, uh, HBO did not hit my household until maybe ninety two, if I had to guess, uh, ninety two or ninety three. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah. But uh, the reason I thought of this fight, of, of course, you know, we know what happened at the end of that fight. You know, Mildred Taylor winning that fight and the fight getting stopped. Um, I had seen, you know, many years ago, I guess it was 2003, when they made those uh, HBO uh, legendary tale, uh, you know, talking about some of the, the most historic fights that they had in, I think, 20 years on HBO at that time. Um so I thought about the tale of Chavez Taylor and I thought to look it up on YouTube and I will post a link for that in the comment section also and I just finished watching it okay um, I had seen this like I said I, I saw this legendary tale many years ago when they, when they did it I've, I've seen it a few times but it had been years since I had seen it okay I did not realize until I was watching this that yesterday, March 17th, uh, 2017, was the anniversary for this fight, okay? Um, you know, I guess what, it's been uh, 27 years now since that fight. Um, and if something like that was to happen today, you know, where a guy was winning a fight and it was stopped you know, in the last seconds, um, the way that fight was stopped, man, I tell you, with the internet now, of course, there was no internet back in that time, but with the internet now, Twitter and all that, man, it would be, shit, probably 10 times worse than what it was then, and you can just tell from listening to the call of the fight that just the, 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 the disbelief of what had happened and the pandemonium, you know. I mean, it, it would it would be crazy, man. Um, and I have not seen, I've never seen this fight from beginning to end. Uh, I, I have never watched this fight in full, okay? Uh, but just watching the uh, legendary tale, um, you know, they said that they felt that, that uh, Taylor was win clearly winning like the first nine rounds, okay? And they showed the highlights, the hand speed, the combinations that he was landing on Chavez. I just looked up the guy's box rate before doing this video. He had 38 wins in his career, 20 by KO. So I wouldn't say that the guy had, you know, crazy KO power. He was landing combos on Chavez, but apparently Chavez was eating them, okay? He he, uh, he did not go down. Uh, he did not appear to be ba badly cut from what I saw. And toward the end of the fight, they said from the middle rounds, but from what they showed... 
like the last couple of rounds of the fight, Chavez making a hell of a comeback. He was landing shots on Taylor that 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 just bruised him up, messed him up pretty bad. And after the fight, they said this guy was urinating blood. They said he had a facial fracture, and I forget what else. It was something else he had. Okay, they they say it in the legendary tale. Um, but you know, at the end of that fight, um, as we all know, it's like in the last twenty five seconds. Um, Chavez lands a a right, I believe it was a right cross, I believe, on Taylor's chin after he had been taking some some pretty bad punishment. Taylor goes down, and Richard Steele is applying the count. Okay, when I when I looked at this, Mildred Taylor is he is barely knocked down. He 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 kind of rolls back into the corner into the turnbuckle, okay, so it was not like a quick drop on the butt and then quickly stand right back up or just sitting on your butt, he went down and then he rolled back, he was hurt so bad, okay, the guy's getting up, he puts, he, he, he grabs the ropes for support to get up, to help get up, okay, the guy gets up, the camera work, even at that time, kudos to those guys at HBO who were working in that day, you know, they had the camera right there in the corner. You could you could see Taylor's face. You could see Richard Steele's face. You could hear the audio. Richard Steele asked the man twice, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" You know, Mildred Taylor did not respond. Mildred Taylor was looking to the left. He was looking to the right. He was not looking at Richard Steele. In my opinion, and it may not be a popular one, but in my opinion, that was a good stoppage by Richard Steele. I know if he would have let the fight continue. Mildred Taylor would have won a, a split decision. But, you know, it, it these are the uh, rules of the game. You know, the guy did not answer the ref. The ref's job is to to stop that fight, you know, regardless of this guy potentially winning this fight, <clears throat> being up on the scorecards or whatever. You know, if if, if Richard Steele somehow, some way, which I, it, it would not have happened because it was like two seconds left in the fight, but... If you would have said, okay, continue, and then Chavez comes over, runs across, lands a right hand, and, and, and man, you know, messes up this guy's life forever with, you know, with one punch because they left the, they, because they let the fight continue. Um, I mean, Richard Steele would have been in, in a, a world of trouble, it, way worse off than what he was letting that fight continue. You know, he looked out for the safety of this guy, and... It was only right. The guy did not answer the ref. The fight should have been stopped, and it was stopped. So that was a good job, in my opinion, by Richard Steele, even though many people may feel like, you know, that fight that Mildred Taylor should have, he got up, he should have been allowed to let that fight uh, end and win that fight. The fact of the matter is, you know, looking at this fight, like I said, I have not seen the fight from beginning to end. I've never watched this fight from beginning to end. But from what I saw, this guy was schooling Chavez, all he had to do, especially in the, in the later rounds, from rounds 10 to 12, okay? They said this guy was clearly up in the first nine rounds. I looked at the, at the box trick. I think he was up like 107, 101 on one score card and 108 to 101 on the other score card. So the guy clearly had rounds in the bank. If he had cruised those last three rounds or even the last round, okay, the guy, I believe, would have won the fight, clearly, you know? Uh, he, but they said that this guy had, he was a Philadelphia fighter. He had Philadelphia pride. <clears throat> he was standing in the pocket there throwing with Chavez and he was paying for it, man. The guy was up on the scorecard. He should have stuck and moved. He should have stayed away. Combos, combos. But this guy was up on, on the card and, and he was standing in the pocket with Chavez getting hit. They showed some of his previous fights. Same thing. He would be landing on guys, outclassing them. But then he would be lulled into fights, that Philadelphia fight of pride. And the guy would, would just take punishment. And uh, in this fight, he paid for it, man, because Chavez was a hell of a puncher, man. And, um, you know, the guy should have stuck the movie, should have stayed away. They criticized on the documentary, they criticized Lou Duva, said that he told him in the last round to move, move, be like Ali. But then when they played the, the audio from the corner but uh, after the 11th round, they was telling the guy that it was a close fight that he needed the round, okay? 
which of course was was bad advice. I know Lou Duva just passed, rest in peace, Lou Duva. But you know, from from what I saw, from what these guys are saying, man, that you know that that was not the best advice. You know, this guy they, they should have told this guy to stay away. But they said that they tried they tried to pull him back early in the fight. They told him to save it, not not go all out, not go balls to wall. And Mildred Taylor was not listening. He was, he was, he was throwing, 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 standing in the pocket with this guy. I don't know if he was hell been on a knockout or trying to make a statement or what. But uh, you know, Mildred Taylor should have used his. He should use. He should use his head, and not fought with his heart and his balls as much as he did. You know, and the guy could have clearly easily won that fight um, on a decision uh, by sticking and moving. Okay. And after seeing this, uh, I thought I, w- I would comment on this fight with it being the anniversary, being yesterday, uh, now the 27th anniversary. Like I said, I was not watching uh, boxing at that time. Uh, definitely was not following hardcore anyways. Uh, if, if it had came, came on, I probably would have uh, you know, snuck and watched it and been captivated by it. But at that time, it was, uh, it was not one of the big sports for me. Uh, I was getting into pro wrestling at that time, and I was – uh, into basketball and getting into football, okay? I was really just getting into sports at that time. So, you know, I thought I'd, you know, take this look back, give my thoughts on it. If something like that was to happen today, it would be unbelievable. Um, you know, like a last-second stoppage KO. People, it would be the same type of criticism, but it would be a thousand times worse. With the Internet out nowadays, man, people tweeting, and, and man, it would be crazy, you know? the backlash and the reaction from some shit like that man on this documentary Larry Merchant said that he 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 was shocked thought it was wrong other people thought that that uh Taylor should have been given his uh chance to have that victory hey I'm not feeling super sympathy for Mildred Taylor the guy was IBF uh junior welterweight champion and, and he became a WBA welterweight champion uh in the following year and and held that title till what 1992 so you know, Mildred Taylor was a world champion, a two division world champion. Uh, maybe in the biggest, most notable fight of his career, and maybe he did not. It did not go his way. But you know, if the guy had used his head, stayed outside, used the combos, stuck and move, the guy could have uh, won that fight. He most likely would not have been caught, and he could have won that fight on a decision, split decision. All right, and that's all I got to say about it, guys. Thought I'd go back in time and comment on this fight. Uh, happy anniversary to Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., who has been in the news lately for Junior getting ready to fight Canelo. And happy anniversary to Mildred Taylor, uh, Ring Magazine Fighter Year 1990, and uh, one of the most historical, memorable, legendary fights in boxing history. Maybe one day I will sit and watch this fight, and uh, maybe I will uh, comment on it another time uh, if I sit and watch it uh, from beginning to end. Hope you guys are doing good, and I will check in later. Thanks for watching.